Hey, what's up? Uh, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to uh, fix some busted wire connectors. Uh, basically, what we're working with here is some busted wire connectors. I had a customer come in and I needed to rewire everything. It's all rewired. Could have used the professional tubing, but you know, it's a budget job. It's not worth it. Just make it look good, make it work right. Okay, so things you need to know when you take these apart, it's good to stagger these even if it's just a little bit. So what I mean is don't snip side by side like this. You want to stagger them by cutting here and then cutting there. It helps you when you go to wrap them up, it comes out really nice and smooth, okay? Second thing, if you get finished and something isn't right, right, you're supposed to watch the whole time. If you get finished and something is not right, uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to rewire these things and how to check yourself. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come back, especially if you've already taped them up, you're going to unwrap them, all right? You're going to unwrap it, all right? And then what you're going to do, once it's unwrapped, is you're going to look and see, you're going to follow the wires back. I like to separate them out a little bit. First thing I do is I grab one wire, and it's like, okay, so there's one, and this is the furthest to the left, all right? If it's clipped in, it's furthest to the left, I always start there, all right? And you can see it's a brown wire, cool. All right, then you go to your next one. Okay, this is the second wire from the left. This one has white with a tiny blue stripe. Make sure you pay attention to your wires before you cut them. Some may be the same. If they are, you need to mark one of them with like a, a, a Sharpie or something or put a piece of tape on it. Third wire, right here. Third wire is white with a black stripe. And then the fourth wire is white. All right, now what did we say? We went brown, white with blue, white, uh-oh. Our third is white with black stripe. This one is white, and then our fourth is white with black stripe, and this one's white. So that means it's backwards. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna show you how to take these apart without breaking them, hopefully. I like to use these picks, they're cheap. Um, they do have tools made for this, but this is basically all you do. You stick the pick, underneath the connector okay don't stick yourself but be real easy because you don't want to lose these in the engine bay these are $50 connectors so alright second thing these two are the wires that are switched up so inside if you look really close there's a uh, little clip in there I mean super close let's get in here there's a clip alright and what you gotta do is underneath the little thing you gotta push that clip down and these are awesome because when you use these, it actually helps push the thing back at the same time. So boom, you see that one pushed back? Cool. Now watch again, it goes underneath this silver piece, there's a clip, press down and then push up. And it'll pop them out of place, see? And then you pull them from the back, all right? And then, when you put them back in, you look in there and you see that the smooth piece, the folded over piece goes at the bottom. So you're gonna slide it back in. All right, same thing with this one. Cool, awesome. And you kind of just click back in. Yep, and make sure they look good and they're nice and flush. Okay, I'm gonna set that back down. And then if you get confused, which I know it goes like this, but if you get confused, you know, just reference one of your other clips, okay? And then this goes in and it sits right down. Now, once you make sure that one of these is correct, you're gonna take and run voltage. All right, so I've got my multimeter here. I stuck the, uh, I turned it on, all right. You're gonna put it on a 20, right there. So the V with the lines, and a 20. All right, that's gonna give you your voltage for this specific type of elect, uh, electrical work, all right. So you're gonna take your hot prong and stick it onto the hot side of the battery. And if you stick this on the negative side, you should get somewhere around 12, uh, 12 to 13 volts. You're supposed to have, we'll get to that. All right, it doesn't even matter. As long as you have between 12 and 13 volts, you're good, right? All right, once you do that, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and touch each one of these. If they're grounded, okay, that's the first step. We're good, that means everything is connected. Now check this out, I'm gonna go and turn the car on, not all the way, I'm not gonna crank it, but I'm gonna turn the key forward. All 
right, and that is that is the uh, position right before it's getting ready to crank. If you crank it a little, that's fine. All right, now that we've got it there, we're gonna come in and test these prongs out. We're gonna start on the left. We got 0 0.06, cool. Next one over, 7.2, next one over, 6.8, next one over, 12.2. And then what you do is you write that on a piece of paper, all right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come across each one of these and make sure that each one has the same readout as this first one because what did you do? You checked it against your original. And the other thing, just in case, some people do this, they mess things up. If something is wrong, you're gonna find out real quick by taking these and put them, putting the other ones next to it after you have everything lined up. Put all these connectors, the used ones, right next to each other down here. You can take them and put them next to each other, okay? And that will show you if you have something wrong with the wiring, you'll see it down here. And like I said, once you do that, just check each of your uh, check each of your wires at the prong for voltage. You don't need the coils. You can check them by just turning the ignition forward and leaving it there. All right, and don't forget, you'll kill your battery if you're not fast, so hurry the hell up.